Have you ever found that you've been saying something for a really long time and then come to find out it's incorrect? That just happened to me. I've been here at Sewing Parts Online for about seven and a half years. And in that time, I've always said that there's a regular bobbin case and an embroidery bobbin case. Well, there's a little bit more to it. Stick around and I'll tell you what I didn't know. Hey everybody, Trisha here with Sewing Parts Online. So let's talk about these bobbin cases. To begin, I want to mention that this information applies to Baby Lock and Brother bobbin cases. So let's set these two side by side. See how this one has the green on the tension screw and this one has a purple dot in the middle? That is what I'll be referring to during this discussion. If you haven't already, please take a moment to like and subscribe. That way you'll get notified of any future video that we have. So let's start with the green bobbin case. This is the bobbin case that comes with your machine. It has the little green screw on it. This bobbin case's tension is preset from the factory. It's intended to be used with a 60 weight thread. This preset tension allows you to begin sewing as soon as you get your machine. Now this is the bobbin case that I always thought was intended just for sewing, but that's not the case. As long as you're using 60 weight thread, you can use it for both sewing and embroidery. Now the thing to note about this particular bobbin case is you cannot adjust the tension. Loctite is used on the threads of the screw so it's not going anywhere. Even if you could move it, you don't want to because then you're going to have issues with your tension and it's just going to cause a mess. Now can you use other thread other than what came with your machine? You sure can, as long as it's a 60 weight thread. Now if you're wanting to use a different weight of thread, that's where the purple dot bobbin case comes in. Normally there's a purple dot, however it's not always purple. It may not even have a dot at all. But just know that if it doesn't have the green on the screw, then it is an indication that it's your alternate bobbin case. So the difference is, this one does not have the Loctite. That means you can adjust your tension as needed. So it's not intended just for embroidery. It's intended for sewing and embroidery. And you can adjust your tension according to what thread you're using. How cool is that? Seriously, my mind is blown. Learning something new all the time. Now this bobbin case has a preset tension to work with a 90 weight thread instead of the 60 weight. It's a little difficult to see the difference, but I wanted to kind of show you the difference in the weight of thread. Now, this is a 30 weight, this is the 60 weight, and this is the 90 weight. Have you ever had to use your alternate bobbin case and adjust your tension? Did you find it difficult? Comment below, I'd love to hear. To adjust the screw is actually really easy. When adjusting the tension screw, you want to think of it as a clock. Adjust the screw in 15 minute increments and then try again. To tighten the screw or tighten the tension, you want to go clockwise. So if you want to loosen the screw or loosen the tension, you need to go counterclockwise. A little trick that my technician taught me is right to tight and left to loose. Or the good old righty tighty lefty loosey. To me, if possible, it makes sense to have both bobbin cases on hand. Unfortunately, not every machine has both options, but if it's available, I would definitely snatch them up. I also wanted to throw in here that you may come across a light gray bobbin case in addition to these two. That one is intended for bobbin work. Unfortunately, I didn't have one in stock to show you, but your manual usually will give you some information on that particular specialty bobbin case. If you're finding you're having issues with thread nesting, breaking stitches, or just bad results in general, and you've done all your troubleshooting according to your manual, it may be time to change out your bobbin case and play with that tension a little bit. I hope that this video has helped you determine which bobbin case to use and when to use it. Until next time, happy sewing everybody!